Hi. Okay, I just picked some garlic um, from my garden, and you can kind of tell when it's ready because the stalk will get, you know, kind of yellow and fade. Um, and then garlic scapes will come kind of out of the center here. So when you are ready to pick a garlic garlic scape, which is a little bit earlier in the season, um, not this late in the summer, because this late in the summer, you're picking the bulb. So. Um, and this is a whole head of garlic that came from planting one clove. So this is a dried up one. This I have to let cure now for a little while um, until it's dried out enough for us to break it apart and eat it. Um, so in the braid that I made, the crappy braid that I made yesterday, it was garlic that I'd been letting cure on my front porch for you know, like a week, I'd, I'd say. Um, so it got, the skin of it got really dried out, and then you'll be able to tell. This feels wet right now because it just came out of the earth. So this is a clove, and this is a dried up bulb. So in the fall, if you want to plant garlic, what you would do is you would take a clove like this, and you don't peel it, you want to keep the skin on it, um, and you want to put the base of it down and there sometimes will be a little green shoot coming out of here um, and that's what you'll see in the spring it'll be like one of the first things that you see in the spring when um, the earth warms up so garlic's super easy to grow it likes sunshine so if you have a sunny spot like our garden right here is, is southern facing so that's our whole front yard and it's just covered in straw it likes mulch, so you can use straw as your mulch if you want to, um, and it does like well-drained soil. So um, it's really not hard to grow though. You only plant these little cloves like two inches deep and probably like six inches apart so they have enough space to grow, um, but it's really simple. And this turns into this, or a bigger one even, like something like this. Um, anyway, super easy and it's so good for you. So that's actually what I wanted to tell you about are some of the benefits of garlic. So um, if you're doing any sort of, oh, this is the tincture I was going to take today. If you're doing any sort of um, immune boosting, it's a really awesome addition to um, boost your immune system. So you can actually just cut up a piece of garlic and eat it, um, a clove. Eating it raw is super beneficial, um, but you can, as long as you get it in your system, I feel like that's the important part. So um, within, one thing I learned in herb school that's pretty cool is there is a compound in garlic and it's called allicin. And if you eat a piece of garlic to get the ultimate benefits, the most bang for your buck, if you're eating a piece of garlic, you can chop it up, peel it, chop it up, or crush it, and then count to 11 and eat it. And you'll have the most powerful experience. Um, remember garlic is spicy, so make sure that you're prepared for that if you're gonna eat some. Um, it's antiseptic, it's an antimicrobial, it's really great for your immune system. It can actually help with inflammation. So in the past, we've had a tincture of it on hand at our house and both of us, the adults in the house anyway, have taken it for um, inflammation or just, you know, like aches or pains. Um, it's so good to just get it like pumping through your system. Um, it's really great if you have high blood pressure. Um, it can be best if it's taken in tincture form for um, high blood pressure and it can um, help regulate your cholesterol. I mean, honestly, there's really not a ton that it's not good for. It's really good for your circulatory system. It's great for your heart. Um, it can be beneficial if you have infection in your body also. So if you are, or if you're coming down with something too, if you can feel that um, sort of feeling when you're starting to get sick. I always try and pump some garlic into my system, maybe with echinacea, um, but it can, it can actually, um, shorten the length of something that you have going on as well. So if you already have a cold or a flu, um, you can take garlic and it will shorten the length of it. There's all kinds of information online 
um, science that has been done um, surrounding garlic and consuming garlic and um, how beneficial it is for you. So yeah, it has antioxidants in it that are really great for your body <clears throat> and um, they can actually, they have done studies on um, how it can help prevent Alzheimer's and dementia. I mean, it's really great for menopausal women to take garlic. Um, Oh my gosh I mean seriously there's just so much I think the only downside that some people would say oh it helps your liver and your gallbladder the only downside that people might um, mention is that it will give you bad breath but I actually kind of like garlic breath so yeah I mean plant some it's so easy to grow and you plant it before the snow in the fall so you could plant it in October and then you just let it live through the winter. I mean, I guess if you live in a cold climate, it would, it would make it through the winter and it'll be the first thing that you see come up in the spring, probably when your body really needs it the most is in the, in the winter, but, so save some, don't plant at all. Um, but it's really great, especially if you can grow it in your own yard. There are so many benefits to growing the food that you eat right around you in the same environment that you live in. So, um, yeah, it's powerful and awesome. Oh, I wanted to mention there those Mullen garlic eardrops that I told you about in the past that I used with um, one of my kiddos. His whole life he kind of suffered from chronic ear infections. So um, he was, con I was putting a lot of eardrops in his system and um, they were Mullen eardrops, which we already talked about Mullen, but um, they have garlic in them too. So yeah, I would use those and then intermittently use some hydrogen peroxide in between and it was always really successful for us to get rid of his ear infections. Um, yeah, so it's a good immune activator and you should definitely have some on hand. There's a yellow jacket. Okay, garlic, eat it.